Oh dear lord, what is that sound? Nostalgia. Uh oh. To my ears. Could it be? Is Threat Level Ridley playing a goddamn Metroid game? I forgot that our name originated from Metroid. Yeah, you think it was, you know, like Threat Level Ridley. Whatever. You want to go into the history of uh, of uh, what our other name would have been? Or it was? Yeah. <laughs> so that was Engage Ridley, which is a Easter egg, or a, sort of. Because if you put Engage Ridley motherfucker into the first like the, the Metroid password. password screen, the game gets all jumbled up and goes insane. It's like, warning, rocks. You're about to crash into the fucking rocks. Don't do that, Samus. Uh-oh. All right. She's gonna tank those rocks. She's gonna drift into them right there, and like, boom! All right, guys. See, Metroid is the is a controversial game because it doesn't star Samus. It stars a uh, Raiden as Samus. Samus. Jr. <laughs> These huge pixels in front of me. I do kind of like it. Man, there's a plot in this game. Actually, there is. This is the first game I think is where Samus actually like has a a voice, kind of. And it culminates in other M. No. It doesn't. <laughs> Have See, you finally turned on Other M? It's... Yeah. All like, right. I can't... It's it's hard to defend Other M because it's not good. <laughs> One, they, like, because I, like... Like, Samus had, like, a, a really good personality. And, like, just her actions. And then they gave her a voice, and it kind of ruined it. And uh, that was when uh, Samus got Space AIDS. She now has a Sigma virus. It was, like, it was so crazy when this game came out, and, like, it was like, Samus looks totally different, it's a different character, and, like, everyone just was okay with it. Yeah, which is funny, because if you if you do that today, yeah, people would lose their mind. Like, if you made, yeah, like, if you take any other, like, super established character and do this, what this game is doing to Samus, like, I just don't see it today. It doesn't even have to be super established. Remember when the screenshots of Infamous 2 showed up? Oh yeah, and they changed the way Cole McGrath looked like, and everyone lost their minds and like started. And that was just writing like, a petition. Now imagine if like Cole McGrath like turned blue. He kind of did because he got the ice powers. That's true. Which one was Fire was evil in that game, right? Or like the Renegade Path? Yes. So like, there's Samus, just riddled with space aids, covered in the, uh, the gelatinous space honey. She's like, oh dear. She's like, that was quite an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Had a freaking space pirate come all over her face. <laughs> all right. And I took it there. So, yeah, like, it's just like this whole thing where it's like dramatically altering her physical appearance and changing her DNA. And everyone was just like, yeah, that's amazing. I think it's because, like, we're all kids back then, and now we're just, like, the internet would not stand for it. And, too, I think, I think people were just so so into a new metroid game because like what was the previous metroid super metroid yeah yeah there hasn't been a, there no i actually don't know if uh metroid prime came out earlier or later because yeah. they had a uh, you could link the two together so you can give samus in metroid prime the the uh the fusion suit i remember that and there's the uh Bukaki you particles. can also you can also link it up with zero mission and play metroid one yeah nobody ever did that because metroid one is it's terrible hard. And oh. also, it's a ROM, you can just download, it costs like, what is it like, it's like 30, 30 kilobytes. And like, there you go, just transformed Iconic Samus into that, and like, everyone just like, fuck yes. What is Metroid 3? Metroid 3? Yeah, is that Prime? Uh, mm, no, there's Metroid, Metroid 2, Return of, uh, like, the Return of Sam Samus, and then Super Metroid. Super okay. Metroid is technically Metroid 3. Okay, okay. So this is, okay, so then this must have came out first, because this is Metroid f 4, and then Prime came out after it, and it then it was like... It runs on the Mario Kart rules, where every game counts towards the number two. Right. Goals. It's not ready for this much plot. And then, yeah, this game had, like, way more plot than, like, Super Metroid did right before it, but, again, it was, like, it was just enough to be all right and not overbearing. And like, this is all narrated by Samus, and again, everyone was super okay with it. Yo, Samus's traps are huge. She is a seven foot, like 250 pound she Amazon woman. Brock Lesnar wearing a wig. <laughs> she F5s like Ridley. Another thing too is like in other M, 
like Samus looks like a child, not like someone who could snap your neck with her bare hands. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at her like shoulder width right now, and she looks like she could play football. She does, she plays space football. <laughs> with other aliens. And it's crazy too. She's um, a star running back. <laughs> other M takes the plot of Metroid Fusion almost verbatim. And like, again, like, it's just, Maybe we should do maybe we should do like a let's play of other M just to you own it right yeah just to show what we're talking about and we use our backwards compatible which yeah. is what we're playing we're playing the virtual console version this so is Nintendo yeah. do not take this video down we paid you yes eight dollars like, if you want cents. to we can look at we could record the receipt we bought just There's push been the an home button on it. in the quarantine bay so SR three eighty eight was um the planet that you went to in Metroid two hmm. So what happened, so in Metroid 2, the the goal was to kill the shit out of all the Metroids. So after you killed the shit out of all the Metroids, the Bukaki particles uh, became the dominant life form. Damn, even her ship changed colors. Yeah, like again, like all these major changes to Samus and like everyone was just fine with it. I remember beating this game in a Barnes and Nobles because I was stuck and after school I went to Barnes and Nobles because this is the time, day and age we lived in, and I looked at a strategy guide and said, I ain't paying you suckers ten bucks. Also, if anyone's like, man, he can't fucking jump, it's because I'm playing on the Wii U gamepad. And it's, it's a little... Are you, are you looking at the gamepad? No, not at all. Um, and, like, I really love the Game Boy Advance era, with like because they had pixel art, but it was actually good. Yeah, it always like freaked me out, because like, like, some of those sprites were like way too good. And, like, like that, just typing on the computer and shit. And it's just like, go to the quarantine bay over here. Doop. You know what's a really good GBA game? I should have looked on the store. You ever play Astro Boy? Um, no. I missed the boat on Asteroid Boy. Astro, Astro Boy. Aster, that's the Korean version. Aster Blaster. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at, like, it's all, like, all this, it's all fucked up now. Like, oh, I really like this game. Oh, how do I, uh... And there's your rival, Metroid. There's a way to, there it is. Yeah, there's a, and then absorb. Oh yeah, the virus is good. Yeah, the Sigma virus is, is what you feed off of. It's like the Shinobi virus. Are you talking about like from Shinobi? Yeah. Like, I've never, have you ever beaten Shinobi? Hell no. That's such a hard game. It is. I think, I think it's cause like when I was a child, I didn't understand that you had to get a combo and then that made your attacks like, like able to damage the boss. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team are infected by Bukaki. They can mimic the Bukaki. <laughs> and then the Bukaki's on you! <laughs> Save him, Seamus. <laughs> Seamus. <laughs> she takes the helmet off and she's like, FELL OFF! <laughs> Bro kicks Ridley. You know what? I'm okay with everything I just said. Yeah, that, I don't think the uh, community would be good for that change when... Samus underwent surgery to become Seamus. Not even just a man. And this also had a, um... Like, so you know in every Metroid game, Samus has to lose her power-ups. Because otherwise, why the fuck are you playing? Yeah. This one had a good, uh, had a good excuse, is because they had to, like, surgically take away her powers. Because it was killing her. And two, they didn't give you a portion of, like, hey, here's everything you will get eventually. That's true. Like, they did not start the game with you having all of your abilities so you can be sad when they take it away. I'm, and, like, getting super nostalgia. And Other M had, like, the shittiest excuse. She was like, oh, no. You just, you, like, your... Menopause. My weapons are gone. <laughs> Actually, I think that would have been a better excuse. <laughs> Samus at 40. Actually, I have no idea how old Samus is. 50. She looked, like, 16 in Other M. Wasn't that a prequel, though, in Other M's defense? Um, yeah, Words but... Words never okay, said. So here's the thing. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a fucking joke. Here's the thing about that, like, Samus was raised by bird people, uh, to be a seven-foot Amazon woman. So, like, I, I don't she know- She started off five-foot-two, she, start, like, she started off as Daniel Bryan. They're like, you gotta get taller, mate, and she was like, alright. So, so I don't know if, if living with the, the Chozo made her into that, or, like, maybe you're right and she was just but a child. But, no, no, it wasn't, because Other M takes place right after Super Metroid. So, it, it, yeah, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, yeah, Sam I'm, Samus from Super Metroid does not become Samus from Other M in the span of, like, two seconds. Because it, it really takes place, like, right after Super Metroid. 
And, then, and there's there's uh, there's our internet. You know, routers are better in the future. So this is the only Metroid game I ever beat. It's a it's a good game. I always get horrifically stuck in them. This one had a good like I I only ever got stuck once, and that was because I was a really stupid kid. I mean, I'm a stupid adult, so. I, I specifically remember there being a wall you had to shoot, and there's no... And the, like, there's no way to figure it out. Yeah, there's no way of knowing that you had to shoot that wall out. That's why I just shoot everything. But then I went to Barnes & Noble's. <laughs> and, like, the calming library just showed me the answers. Yeah, because I, when, when I was going to school in Brooklyn, there was a Barnes & Noble's, like, right at the train station I would transfer at, so I just got off, and I'm like, man, I'm gonna go do that. So the Wii U version have save states. You're gonna utilize those at all? Um, I don't know. I kind of don't want to. I mean, I, I could in lieu of just saving, but... So a lot of Metroid fans cite this game as the easy Metroid. It is not as hard as, like, Metroid 1, and probably not as hard as Super Metroid. I'll give them that. Metroid 1 was made to sell strategy guides, though. I think Nintendo games were made to sell strategy guides. Because people forget about, like, yeah, games are way harder. I'm like, yeah, games are harder because there was, like, a side business in there. Bleep, 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 bleep. Alright, so how do I... I think it's like, is it... Uh, there we go. Alright, so you can shoot the gray ones now, right? Yeah, the uh, I can shoot, um, the, like, a, a, like, there's a panel over there. Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. Can you, you can you remap uh, these virtual console games? I don't know. Cause um, the, the we can figure that out between episodes. The problem I'm having with this controller right now is the is that missiles is the, is R, which is not the trigger. Which, God, it would be great if it was the trigger. I think you could use a pro controller for this too. I think the pro controller has the same the same thing though. It has yeah. it has R as the shoulder button, not the trigger button. I wouldn't be shocked if you could remap these though. Anyway, so like you just got to do this, and then boom. And then you Samus to the ventilation. Sam Samus doesn't give a shit. And then your missiles can destroy these, and then you absorb it. The green ones give you missiles back. And I I believe we are getting close to our like first energy tank. So how much does you remember? Um, I think I might have access already. I remember a bit of it. Like I haven't played it for like years. I remember really liking that ladder climbing animation. I like all like all. I do remember like. A few of um, a few of the power-ups, like oh, so you, you get missiles. So each one of these gives you five missiles, and you'll have a shit ton of missiles when you when you're done with this game. Oh wow! Oh, so so um, take a look at that uh, the mini map. You see that circle in there? Yeah. That's how I knew there was a missile there. I mean, I also remember that one, but just like I didn't have like some secret sixth sense that told me that. Actually, though, if you ever come into a room and it's like completely empty, there's a good chance there's something there. So it's like saving takes like no time. So I actually yeah, because it has that like the one thing I miss about cartridge-based games was the instant loading times and instant save times, which are gone, but they're getting better. Yeah, shoot that cancer in the face. I can't decide. So yeah, if zombies. it does that, you can't shoot it, that's why. Real floaty jump, but like in a good way. I do like how the animation changes. If you jump straight up, she does that, and if you jump to like uh, a direction, she... she She's, and it plays that awesome like... Yeah, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. she somersaults, which I really liked. She does a barrel roll. I remember the ledge grabbing. I'm, I'm remembering so much of this game now. So there's, I, so there's our first energy tank. So I had this and Zero Mission, but I never finished Zero Mission. Zero Mission was a lot harder. Especially when you, uh, there was a point where you lost your suit. Naked Samus? Yeah. Like, that's where Zero Suit Samus comes from. Hey, it's Gamora. Oh, I forgot, like, you have to, you have to... You have to, uh, jump. There you go. Pretty difficult boss fight here. Just such patterns such as shoot and turn, and eventually balls. So when that dies, then you have to you have to keep you have to finish it off. 
and I've never done it because I think you have to be really bad at this game for it to happen. Uh, it can reform into the boss is what I've heard if you just let it do that. That I did not know. I'm generally bad at these things as well. Um, it doesn't come back with like full health so you can like immediately kill it again, but I've heard that it will, it will like reform. And it's already a Metroid game. We got missiles and we got our ball and... That's, yeah, that's like the two base abilities. Yep. Oh, you need the bombs for that? Nah. Oh, okay. Our next ability. Yeah, like that, that's uh, it's a standard Metroid fare. Doesn't get old though. There's a dead. Yeah, because I'm thinking now, because if Super Metroid, I don't remember what year Super Metroid came out, but it had to be like the mid '90s, and this came out in 2003, 2002. Let's see, where am I going? Oh, I can just have to go. So it might have been like a seven year gap between Metroid games. It's like, probably why people are so accepting of Blue Samus. Yeah, because they're like any, like I'll play any Metroid game at this point. Uh, and then it's still traditional as well. So it's not like super foreign. It's, oh, it just, it looks so good. It is a, it is a quality game. Because I, because I, I got this like when it came out. Because I like, I was a huge, kind of still am. Nintendo fanboy, so I are like kinda maybe just a tad, a tad. All right, shut the fuck up. Uh oh, the breeding environments have been invaded by the Fukaki virus. Who wants to get sexy with the captain? Everyone. Samus, looking at you. So like this whole game, it's funny because it's just like, like you're trying to keep shit from getting worse on the station, but like it keep like you keep getting stronger, and the station just keeps getting worse. Also, I don't know, um, the sound mostly is coming from the, uh, the gamepad. Is it gonna come through, is it, is it gonna come through with the recording too? Uh, yeah, I would turn the volume down on it. Okay. So me, the, on the uh, right side. Is, oh yeah, so I was like, it's kind of close to my mic. I just noticed it because it, like, the, the gamepad speaker is actually really good. Not like the fucking PS4 speaker. Oh man, all the time, like, playing The Division. You it, can turn that off. Yes, I know. I like it took me a while to figure that out, and I'm dying. Oh, get out of there. Like, yeah, like I hated that so much. I was glad I, when I turned it off. Man, we were already like rolling in missiles. You're going to need them. Like, I think like the, the you get like 200, like, I oh, you know, that was in the original Metroid because 255 was the biggest, like the, the largest 8 bits can hold. So that was your missile count. That's funny. So yeah, this I, yeah, this is where I need to go. This because this takes place. This is like the hub. Fuck. Oh no, who is it? I will be honest. Oh, I'm remembering this now. So the SAX, which is this clone of Samus, terrified the shit out of me. Cause, like, oh, so you're like, oh, it doesn't show you at full power. Well, it does. It's just it is at hunting you. So I remember it's like the the virus infected her old suit. Right, and then, so what happens is the virus like re like replicates itself. So it has replicated itself into Samus, and not just Samus, but like Samus like with all her power. And I do like because like the atmosphere in this game is so great because, like the sound like the music kicks off and you just hear footsteps. And like Samus will murder the shit out of you if you let her. Here we are. We're already in like the second we're in, area. Yeah, right? we're in like the first, uh, the first stage, kind of. Yeah, because you can see on, on the, the the way the stations laid out, like one through six. Something not human. So I vaguely remember there being some sort of secret ending in all Metroid games. Is it based I, on completion time? Uh, I don't know about secret ending. Like, the the big thing was like, and remember in the original Metroid, you could see Samus in like in her like swimsuit or whatever. Yeah, and that was based on completion time, right? It was, yeah. So in this game, it's based on completion time and completion percentage, which is mean like all the power ups. So if you beat the game, I think it's like three hours or two hours, and all like all the uh, power ups, then you get like the best like ending. But the ending itself doesn't change, like the actual like content of it. It's just like Sam just takes off like her suit and you see her like as like kind of it's kind of weird because uh like it kind of goes against the way the game said that her appearance changed 
like her a suit changed definitely but it didn't look like that she but actually she's still changed. like sexy Sam yeah she's new. still like a hot chick hot seven foot chick the way I like them you're fighting lots of cancer in this game the game just like like yeah like are you supposed to be here yeah all right, because I never trust like. Oh, so so I mean, because I kind of I've been kind of speeding through like what the computer's saying, but it's it's telling you about this area. It's like what they're doing is that they're they're tran like they're changing the environment, and that's what you have to like you have to now see oh. like it's all it's all nice now. All right, now the dank cloud is gone. Yeah, so they're just hot boxing the uh, the entire station right Same. now. This is like really high. Right also, now. I like this too. If you let the the virus ex escape, it'll it'll form into like stronger creatures. Yeah, they don't Yay. they don't they don't give out energy tanks like super easy like after a while. So yeah, right now my current objective is to hit all of these uh hit all of these areas. And you can tell because they're like all the squares. So you gotta just remove the tank from the Yeah, you gotta you gotta clear out the weed stank. And then you fight Snoop Dogg at the end. But the greatest a, of Metroid but villains. A, but it's a clone of Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg died in the first game. And it's just the virus has taken over. That's who Snoop Lion really is. The clone. <laughs> that guy is shooting the virus at you. Yeah. I like that, like, um... Another thing that, why this game is, uh... Can be considered easier is because, uh... Like, in the first game, you didn't kind of know what kind of energy you were going to get, like, when you killed enemies. In this game, it's guaranteed, because that's, like, it's built into the story. Mm. The Triceratops. He's fucking dead now. He reminds like me of that Sonic villain, which is just, like, a rhino with, but, like, a tire. Oh, yeah! <laughs> like, the little, the robot. I'm not going to bother fighting these guys. Oh, we should play all the Sonic Adventure games in a row. Oh, you have them. I do have them. Oh, yeah, Space Pirates. They're, like, they're, like don't tangle with them right now. <laughs> That's lava. You will come back to this. Oh, or never mind. Yeah, it's not the the just being in the room isn't enough to kill me. Okay, that's from Super Metroid. Um, Super Metroid had both. Okay. Uh, there were, yeah. So like certain rooms were too hot, and you would die if you didn't have the the suit. And some just has lava. My short time with uh, Metroid Prime also rem reminds me that there was a section like that. Yeah. Maybe we'll do maybe we'll do Metroid Prime later. Yeah, the trilogy is also on the store. Cause I'm pretty. pretty the, good do you at have that a game. disc version of the trilogy? I uh, not the trilogy. I have them all on GameCube. I was gonna say cause it's worth money. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Cause I never bought it. Cause I had all of them. It had a short print run, so. Um, but it it kind of lost a little bit of value because it's on the eShop now, so you can buy all three for like twenty bucks. Really? That's yeah, if, actually, if we were to play them, that's yeah, how I Yeah, I, I did. It's like $20 it. is fine. I mean, this costs 8 and that's like... Man, Nintendo is just taking my money. Yeah, I, I never really liked the Virtual Store. I didn't... I, I like the Virtual Store. I just... Their prices are like... Because, like, Nintendo, you know how easy it is to pirate this shit? Yeah, and on top of that, too, like... I'd rather just collect the games, also. True. That's just me. I also have a bookshelf full of, like, cartridges and stuff like that. I mean, you know me, I'm like... I will never buy a game digitally if I can afford it. We didn't even try for this one, though. That's true, because it, it's more of a convenience thing, because I can't... We're also drinking, so... I can't go to... And not only that, but, like, I don't know how much... This game might actually be worth something. I really don't know. I don't think so. I, I've seen it for, like, 15 bucks. I mean, yeah, it's, it was a popular game, so there's probably a whole lot yeah. of copies out. But I'll, I'll get into the nerdy side of it, but, like, capturing off of a... Uh, GBA game, not so easy. Yeah, that, that was also that reasoning. Because yeah, like we have like, a Retron Five, but it emulates the games, and then we have uh, what I really wanted to do if I were to emulate a game, or if I were to play uh, to capture off of it, I would want a GameCube and the GBA reader. Ah, and that I have, I had that, I had that. I don't know if I have, a, I don't know if I have the GameCube anymore. If you have a GBA reader, um, it's only worth something if you have the disc. All right, it's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back. Boomerang. Out now. On Steam. <laughs> On Loot Crate. Sponsored by Loot Crate. Yeah. Pay us Loot Crate. <laughs> all right, so you want to well, hold us here? Um, Let's see, where are we? 
Uh, let me get to that save room. All right. There's Ooh. one. Oh, can I even get there? Maybe. You gotta defeat the water temple first. That is water, right? I can't tell with these graphics. What? Those, that, that water graphics are beautiful. Uh, oh, the sun turned off. Uh, uh, I don't know. Was that like a phone? That was Computer? a laptop. Oh, okay. How about this? Uh, this is this coming up is a. Uh, whenever you see those eyes, that means oh, here's a save room. We'll do that next time. Those eyes mean boss fights. Oh, sweet. But there's a save room right here. Don't go uh, in the save room. And that's it. Save super fast because this game is like less than one meg. All right, so we'll come back to this in a moment. Oh, uh, well, for you people, it'll be like three days. <laughs> Who cares? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, all 12 of our subscribers will be disappointed, but hopefully, hopefully we'll catch that nostalgia, uh... That nostalgia riff. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be shooting wildly into the air. Got him.